Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today uh, we are going to have a look at what I consider an entry level or student fountain pen that uh, was actually brought to my attention by my son. He found this uh, Oli Splendid fountain pen at our local Indigo store and um, I was actually very pleasantly surprised by the find and some of its features. As such, I went online and did a little bit of search and I have found the same pen on Amazon.ca under the same name uh, and uh, another one on eBay under a different brand name called uh, Monami Olica that actually comes in a few uh, color variations as you can see from the screen. The uh, full color translucent pens are coming with a fine nib and the transparent pens with color grips are coming with an extra fine nibs. Personally, I choose to buy the fine nib for now just to see how it works. All of them in the end seems to come with uh, three medium sized uh, cartridges and no converter included. The cool part about it, it seems that the ink actually matches the color of the pen. The eBay Monami pen find was cheaper than the indigo by a bit um, because uh, well there were no taxes involved or store markup however both pens are very affordable and can be found online for under seven canadian dollars or at least around that price uh, well at least at the moment when i'm making this uh, video i don't know if both are the same company selling the same pen under a different name depending on the market, or if these are two different companies that employs a third one to make the pens for them, and then they just stamp their brand on it. What I can tell you with certainty is that both pens are exactly the same, and as such I will be focusing mostly on the Monami Olica. As I mentioned, all these fond pens um, are translucent or transparent, at least in the case of Monami Olica and uh, it depends on the nib that you actually want to, to use. Construction obviously is made out of plastic. It has a very interesting shape. Uh, the cap is uh, rounded a little bit, almost like a very elongated oval and cut off at the end uh, part of the cap. There is no finials and the cap doesn't have an actual breather hole. And the clip actually is a very usable clip as you can see, uh, it can accommodate a lot of type of pockets. However, um, since it's made out of plastic, I would uh, advise for caution. Don't uh, overstress it. I have a feeling this can easily be broken if you pull on it too hard. Doing a quick short test, this pen slides in very easily, almost without effort. Seems to hold okay, not extremely hard, but definitely okay. And slides out out of the shirt or pocket without any issues. And then after the cap you have the barrel that squeezes a little bit, almost like having a waist, and then uh, it's a little bit bulbed out and then again going back to a point. The barrel, however, it does have a breather hole, so I guess the downside on this fountain pen is that you won't be able to uh, convert it into an eyedropper unless you find a way to plug that end. The nice part about uh, these pens is that uh, since they are translucent, you can pretty much see all the parts inside of them. No need for an endoscope video of the cap and the barrel. The cap, it's a pull push cap and actually clicks in very nice and securely. I like that. The cap doesn't wiggle. It's pretty secure in there. Hopefully uh, it seals the nib very well. And as you've seen already, without removing the cap, the section on uh, this pen, uh, it's a different color. On the translucent pens, um, the color is just gray. And this is an actually uh, rubber grip. So it's a rubberized grip that actually feels very comfortable and you have a very good grip on it and on the translucent ones as you've seen uh, the, col the 
color of the section or, or the grip it's a different color but the pen it's uh, completely transparent the cool thing about this is actually the nib i really like the shape that he has and even that uh, very understated scroll marks that he has on it the only features that we see on the pen is just the two scroll marks uh, on each side of the tine and um, the uh, number of the the number size of the nib which in my case it's uh, fine the cool thing about this whole thing is that the feed setup is very very interesting removing the barrel it's very easy very simple not a lot of issue in there but once you look inside the section you will see a very interesting end of the feed I tried to remove the feed and the neem. I was able to remove the neem. As you can see, it's held on in place by these uh, four prongs. It took me a little bit to remove it. I went very slow because I didn't want to break it. And once I removed it, I discovered that a feed looks like this. Now, that's a very interesting setup. It almost looks like a marker tip. And in theory, it should be interesting because it, in theory, it should offer a very consistent uh, flow to the nib and hopefully will work as um, advertised. The pen feels uh, very comfortable in hand. I actually like the way uh, I grip the pen. I like that. Um, rubber grip lengthwise it's just perfect it's actually quite quite nice um unposted and the balance for it is pretty much in the middle of the pen however you by any chance you find this pen a little bit too short even though i don't see the problem the pen posts very beautifully i like it and since the cap is plastic, it weighs barely nothing. However, the balance shifts a little bit towards the top. But again, it's really not uncomfortable. You barely feel it. And if you have smaller hands, most probably you will barely feel it as well. I like it. I will most probably use it uh, post it most of the time though. As mentioned, the pen comes with three medium-sized cartridges and the color of the ink matches the color of uh, the pen. And this is the color that I'll be using today. Hopefully, we'll get something interesting with it. And this brings me to another cool thing um, about this phantom pen. You'll probably recognize this pen. This is a prim platinum cool phantom pen. And this is the uh, platinum converter that I have on it. And yes, you can actually use platinum converters and cartridges on this fountain pen, which is kind of exciting because that means that this fountain pen, its main uh, adversary, most probably is this fountain pen, the Prepi. Constructions on both of them seem to be very similar, even though the shape is not the same. They're both most of them. Uh, they're both mostly made out of plastic, plastic um, clip. Actually, the plastic clip on the uh, on these pens uh, it's much more generous and much more flexible than the one on the Prepi. However, you got to give to the Preppy uh, that their cap mechanism uh, it's actually pretty good and most of the time works very well. This one, as you've noticed, um, doesn't really have anything in there. It's just simple and hopefully this uh, neck ties in around the section properly and it will seal the nib properly. Only time will tell if this system is just as good as the one on the Preppy. However, I guess when they build this fountain pen, they market it against this uh, preppy, for sure, at least, I think, based on what I see. 
And in theory, this is the fountain pen, really. Not, not much to say. Uh, what you see is what you get. And um, I'm quite excited to use this, uh, this pen today. Now, there's not going to be any um, inking section because, well, inking this fountain pen is very easy. Since I plan to use only the cartridge, all you have to do is put this in there, press hard, and then wait for the need to get ink in the feed. I'm not sure how fast this will work. I'll tell you during the writing session how long it took to actually uh, get the pen started. And speaking of that, I guess this is the fountain pen. Let's have some fun with it. First of all, let's do a writing sample and then we'll dive into a sketch. Going for a quick writing sample. Oh yeah, so basically the fountain pen started writing pretty much right away as soon as I stopped and I grabbed the paper and I drew a couple of lines. You already had uh, ink on the nib writing right away, which I really like that. So I guess that uh, interesting feed seems to work. Okay, at least drawing ink into the nib or towards the nib. Okay, so this is Monami. Of course, I had to misspell that. Olika. Fountain pen. Looks like today I can't write. <laughs> Nib it's actually pretty pleasant. Fairly stiff. Not a lot of bounce unless you really push it, but works very smooth. Reverse it's a little bit more chatty, but works just as well. <laughs> okay, this is nice. I like this. And this is Uli Splendid Fountain Pan. Yeah, looks like today I cannot spell. This one works just the same. No issues. Reverse seems to work just as good, just exactly like the other one. The nib is very pleasant, I like it. And I actually like this uh, ink. Should be interesting for, for a drawing today. I'm curious if I can actually shade it by building value on overlapping. It looks like it does have a little bit of shade as well. I'll, be, I'll bring you closer soon. So I can build some value in here, I see. I'm not sure what this ink is, but I like it. And that is just black. I don't know if I'll use both for the sketching, but this is it. I guess I'll get into it and uh, I'll let you know what I think of this fountain mask. Today I didn't really do a doodle. Lately I've been uh, fascinated by microscope photos and I've been studying a lot of microscope images uh, done by a, by a lot of great photographers and um, I was lost for a couple of hours in that world. Uh, the orange color of the ink reminded me of a photo that I have seen uh, while I was looking at those pictures. I think uh, it was some type of a mold, can't remember what it was exactly, 
But what I did remember, because it's stuck in my head since I thought it was uh, the cutest thing ever, was that the mold looked like uh, little miniature trees. Uh, so yeah, I mean, um, I have a lot of things stuck in my head from those photos. And uh, I have a feeling I'll most probably do more of this type of drawings. And the font pens uh, were actually really fun to use. Um, I have used mostly the Monami fountain pen. Um, I really like that orange color and uh, I actually run out of it in the, the cartridge that I had uh, in the pen. And uh, then I also decided to bring the black ink in the equation as well. Again, not sure what I end up with, but kind of like it to be honest. Maybe a darker orange would have been better than the black. But I think in the end it kind of worked out okay. Well, in my opinion at least. What I like about the Monami and Uli fountain pens. These are the pens that for me stay in the category of cheap, cheerful, and I have to be honest, I like pretty much anything about these pens. Cute, colorful, light, uh, another perfect starter for younglings or a good tool for students since it's inexpensive and if lost or broken can be easily replaced. I like the fact that you can use platinum cartridges and converters. I like the rubberized section that in my opinion it's a little bit more comfortable than the preppy one and um, I kinda dig that nib and fit setup that it's uh, well, very familiar with how a marker is built. Makes it for a very interesting ink feeding system and uh, not sure if it's because of it or not, a very smooth and wet writer without any issues, ink starvation issues uh, and uh, consistent flow, at least based on the copies that I have. And lastly, I really dig that orange ink. I wish I knew what uh, makes, uh, who makes their inks. Anyone knows? if by any chance to use these uh, fountain pens. What I don't like uh, about the Monami and Uli fountain pens, really hard to dislike anything about these pens. The only thing that I could nitpick on is the fact that the clip is made out of plastic and even if it's more flexible than the preppy one, um, I could see kids or nervous uh, students breaking them quite easily. And other than that, that's about it. I mean, I could also add the missing converter, but that is something that I would say about any fountain pen out there that comes with, uh, with missing converters. Overall, I really like these pens and I am happily standing behind them. Hard to dislike them for what they are and how much they cost. If you like preppy fountain pens, chances are quite high you will like these fountain pens as well. If I have missed anything or you have any other questions, as usual, leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me today and I hope I will catch you next time. Wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, whatever you are. Take care. Bye.